cabinet reshuffle is in the offing. Will it be an easy task? Find out on News Matters. Rumours emanating from the corridors of power indicate the National Unity Government is preparing for its first cabinet reshuffle. President Maitripala Sirisena made first public indication of this at a meeting in Ambalantota last week. The President said Minister Mahinda Amaravira, the General Secretary of the United People's Freedom Alliance and Fisheries and Aquatic Resources Minister would be given a better ministry to serve the people more effectively. This is as clear an indication as any, at least from the point of view of the President, that a cabinet reshuffle is imminent. There were talks of a possible reshuffle earlier this year, but these did not materialize due to differences of opinion among the key stakeholders of the government. It is important to note that changing the National Unity Government's cabinet will be a highly complex and complicated exercise. When the government was formed in September 2015, the UNP and the SLFP, the two main coalition partners, agreed to share key ministerial portfolios and not meddle with the composition of the cabinet. As a result, the UNP ministers were asked to stay away from the affairs of the ministries held by the SLFP and vice versa. Two years down the line, both parties seem to have forgotten this initial agreement and are to be seen washing dirty linen in public, much to the amusement of the government's political opponents. The stalwarts of both parties have conveniently turned a blind eye to the national agenda, making party politics their main priority. Their sole purpose is to bring their party to power at the next election, not fulfill the mandate of the National Unity Government, which came to power ending the iron-fisted era of the Mahinda Rajapaksa presidency. The plans to change some of the key ministerial portfolios will, without a doubt, present an opening for members of the National Unity Government to get back on the right track and end the intra-coalition rivalries. However, there are still choppy waters to be navigated. The 19th Amendment to the Constitution compels the President to make changes to the Cabinet in consultation with the Prime Minister. Therefore, the President and the Prime Minister, the leaders of the two main political parties representing the Government, will have to be on the same page before changes can proceed. This means the traditional UNPSLF tug of war will have to be set aside and only matters of national interest should come into play. The shuffle will also have to be made in a manner that will not alter the UNP-SLFP ratio or the composition of the current cabinet. All these requirements make the Unity Government's cabinet reshuffle a dauntingly complex task. If the leaders of the government will succeed at this seemingly impossible task and make use of this opening to effect changes, still remains a question. Join us for another segment of News Matters on Friday. I am Royal Raymond. Get the Daily News app free on your mobile phone. Visit apps.lakehouse.lk and download today. Daily News. Be better informed.